What's going on guys, Andrew here, welcome back to Woof of This. Today we'll be checking out a fragrance from the house of Victor and Rolf. This is none other than Spice Bomb, the original Spice Bomb 2. My dad actually has Spice Bomb Extreme. Uh, I do like that one, I, I actually got a sample of Spice Bomb Extreme. It's really good, it's a solid vanilla fragrance. I wouldn't wear that one year round, but this one right here, let me tell you, this is one of my favorite freaking bottles in the... Uh, fragrance game honestly i love the glass bottle it, i love the fact that it looks like a grenade and then you can pull this off this actually protects it from spraying automatically because there is no cap for this fragrance but when i tell you in fact it also has just to look at the attention to detail really quick it does have the uh victor and rolf logo i know you all may not be able to see that but it does have the victor and rolf logo on there and then the bottle right here does show Victor and Rolf again. This is an eau de toilette. The price on this one runs 112 at retail and you can get it for about $75, $80 uh, at uh, discounted places like FragranceNet or uh, Fragrance Buy or something like that. Some of the perfumers are gonna be uh, Oliver Page and Fabian Barron. And uh, then you also have Victor and Rolf themselves who help partner with that. Then if we talk about some of the notes in here, you're gonna have for the top notes, bergamot, grapefruit, and when I tell you, you smell those two as soon as it opens up, it just smells so good. Then in the heart we have Elemi, I've never heard of that. Pink pepper, I have seen pink pepper in a lot of fragrances. Um, and then in the base we're gonna have leather, tobacco, and vetiver. I'm learning that I love vetiver and patchouli. Vetiver is this like nice, just woody type of fragrance when you mix it with like fresh citrus notes it just it makes literally a just spice bomb like i'm trying to think of another one million lucky does this as well if you check out the bottle i mean i have used a nice amount of it i'm over pretty i'm almost at halfway with this fragrance and i can't remember when i bought it it actually released in 2012 in uh in 2015 they released the extreme they have a couple other releases that they have uh that aren't spice bomb like kind of they're more they're not even really flinkers they're just their own thing in the spice bomb family but this is an amazing scent the longevity on this lasts about probably eight plus hours if you spray this on clothes it's definitely going to last even longer over 10 hours for sure but it smells amazing it's definitely a compliment getter it's a crowd pleaser this is one that I'm so glad that I just bought and I did blind buy it. But I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and uh, until next time, peace out.